So next we're going to need to go into Lightburn or whatever your, your uh, tool of choice is. Uh, and we need to set up the tool for uh, rotary support. And the first thing you want to make sure you do is go into the settings in Lightburn and turn on the rotary enable switch so that it's visible on the user interface. And that's just a case of turning that switch on. And when you do, you'll see here in the UI that there's a enable rotary and you can turn that on and off if you are if you are switching over to uh, a flat engrave or cut of some sort, you turn that off. And then if you have your rotary in, you turn it back on. Now, next we need to make sure that the rotary is configured properly. So what I need to do is go up to laser tools and select rotary setup. And we want to set the type. Now there's two types and we have both of them in this package. So we'll be using both, but right now we're going to use the rollers. So we want to switch from chuck to roller. Uh, we certainly want to enable the roller. And there's a couple of things we need to do here to configure the roller itself. And the first one is the, the millimeters per rotation. Actually, we'll do the diameter first because that one's easier. And that's 16 millimeters. And then the millimeters per rotation is 50 millimeters. And these are constants for, for the roller. So you just have to remember these and do them. Next, we need to figure out the diameter of our object. Now I'm just using this, this uh, metal drink can and it's 65.95 millimeters. We could easily say 66, I suppose. And you can see when I do that, it'll calculate uh, the circumference of it. Uh, automatically and you could enter either one of these and it will calculate the other one that's missing. We're using the y-axis uh, that should normally be set by default anyway and that's it and I created a simple little uh, image here. Now I